Their entire reason for living is to feed off the dead. Their personal hygiene is disgusting. And they're the most common creatures in the world. Flies. Flies are 50 shades of just plain gross. To a fly, a fresh corpse is just one thing. Food. For themselves and for the thousands of babies they'll make in just a few hours. Flies can sense death in an instant. Bodies are barely cold and they're the first to arrive at the scene. Corpses give off a smell, at first not strong enough for humans to detect. But these monstrosities have super sensitive hair-like structures on their antennae, which pick up chemical signals that their nerve cells decode. Their eyes help with death detection too. Flies have compound eyes. They don't move like humans, but thousands of different visual receptors work together to send information to its poppy seed-sized brain, giving it a 360-degree view of the world. It's time to tuck in. Flies have no teeth to chew flesh, but they do have this organ, a proboscis. It's like a dual-purpose straw with sponge-like pads at the bottom for lapping. First, the fly will vomit saliva onto its meal, which is laced with chemicals that liquefy flesh so they can suck it back up. Oh yeah, they also poop every four to five minutes on that same food. Female flies can lay up to 500 eggs at a time. Just a few hours later, these hideous creatures hatch, quickly transforming the carcass into a seething, squirming mass. Maggots latch onto the flesh and feed on the rotting remains they've inherited from their mothers. These legless freaks have an intimate relationship with their food. They live off it and in it. They're designed to do nothing except strip and digest fetid flesh. They never sleep. They don't even come up for air because they breathe through their butts. Holes in their anus ensure that feeding can go on uninterrupted, which it does for days or weeks. And then, when they've finished gorging themselves, they pupate. These coffin-like casings are where the metamorphosis takes place. They go in as worms. And weeks later, they'll emerge as fully grown flies, starting the cycle all over again. On the next episode of Micro Freaks, a master builder of death traps.